good morning students in today's lecture we will discuss next important topic that is theme and symbolic meaning of h g wells story the stolen necklace i repeat the topic which we are going to discuss today theme and symbolic meaning of h g wells that is writer his story the stolen bacillus so let's begin with discussion on this topic this is uh, image of uh, the writer h g wells before beginning with the topic i would like to give you a brief introduction to the writer h g wells the english author herbert george wells also commonly referred to as the father of science fiction in addition to writing a lot of science fiction works wells also produced other numerous literary works under many other genres including history social commentary politics and contemporary novels and textbooks so the english author h g wells or his full name is herbert george wells he is commonly referred to as or he is considered as father of science fiction means most of his uh, writings are concerned with science they are related to science so he is uh, considered as the father of science fiction means most of his novels are related to science in addition to writing a lot of science fiction works wells also produced other numerous literary works although he wrote most of science fiction works but he has produced Uh, some other numerous means so many literary works under different genres means of different kinds of writings including history social commentary politics and uh, contemporary novels and textbooks so he is a great writer of english let's now begin with the discussion of uh, the topic theme and symbolic meaning of uh, the story the stolen bacillus the stolen bacillus is a scientific story it deals with a serious theme science can work wonders it can bring heaven down upon the earth but the misuse of science can cause ruin death and destruction on a very large scale so the stolen bacillus this is a scientific story it deals with the serious theme science can work wonders it can bring heaven down upon the earth means if we use scientific ways for progressive uh, ideas or for prog- progression then it can bring heaven down upon the earth but the misuse of science can cause ruin death and destruction on a very large scale but if a person uses science in a wrong way then it can cause ruin it can cause death on large scale and it can cause destruction on a very large scale destruction means tabahi vinash the two japanese cities of hiroshima and nagasaki are horrid examples of devastation caused by the misuse of science so we have two examples the two japanese cities of hiroshima and nagasaki that uh, those two cities japanese cities are horrid or uh, uh, very scary examples of devastation or destruction that was caused by the misuse of science 
H. G. Wells hints at the destructive possibilities of science if it gets into the hands of wrong men or madmen like the anarchist. In this story, the writer H. G. Wells he hints at the destructive possibilities of science that how science can cause uh, destruction on large scale if science gets into the hands of wrong men or madmen like the anarchist then it can be destructive men like the bacteriologist are wholeheartedly devoted to the progress of science men like the bacteriologist means the scientist are wholeheartedly devoted to the progress of science they work in laboratories day and night and carry out experiments for the welfare of mankind the writer h g well says that persons like bacteriologist they work day and night and wholeheartedly for the progress of science they work in laboratories for day and night and they carry out experiments for the welfare of mankind the bacteriologist works in the laboratory and conducts experiments to kill and destroy disease germs his aim is to free mankind from diseases in the story the, there are two main characters bacteriologist who is a scientist who works day and night in the laboratory for the welfare of mankind he conducts so many experiments to kill and destroy germs of disease his main aim of uh, the main aim of his uh, conducting the experiments is to free the mankind from different kinds of uh, fatal diseases so the second uh, main character in this uh, story is the anarchist men like the anarchist are traders of death and destruction anarchist such people are traders of death and destruction means they do such works which cause destruction on large scale their aim is to spread death destruction and disorder disorder all around they adopt all foul means to carry out their wicked plans the anarchist forges a letter of introduction and visits the bacteriologist he seizes the first available opportunity to steal the tube of cholera germs the writer says that the men like an anarchist they do such works which cause destruction on large scale their main aim is to spread death destruction and disorder in all over the world or country they adopt all foul foul means foul means they use all wrong means or to carry out their wicked plans cruel plans wicked means cruel the anarchist forges a letter of introduction and visits the bacteriologist he seizes the first available opportunity to steal the tube of cholera germs so the anarchist he uh, makes a fake letter of introduction and visits the bacteriologist he seizes the first available opportunity he uh, tries to capture the opportunity to steal the tube of cholera germs from the lab of bacteriologist he holds the tube tightly in his hand he is happy at the thought that he can cause large scale destruction by breaking the tube into the water supply of the city so when he captures the tube into his hands he holds it tightly and uh, he feels happy at the thought that uh, by breaking the tube into the water supply of the city he can cause large scale destruction in the city the world is not free from dangerous people like the anarchist they are bent upon causing a lot of ruin and destruction in the world they hate mankind and want to become famous by harming it 
दे आर विलन्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड द राइटर से इज दैट द वर्ल्ड इज नॉट फ्री फ्राम डेंजरस पीपल लाइक द एनाकिस्ट दे आर बेंट अपॉन कॉजिंग अ लॉट ऑफ ट्रिन एंड डिस्ट्रक्शन इन द वर्ल्ड दे हिट मैन काइंड एंड वॉन्ट टू बिकम फेमस बाई हार्मिंग इट दे आर बेंट अपॉन कॉजिंग अ लॉट ऑफ ट्रिन एंड डिस्ट्रक्शन इन द वर्ल्ड मीन्स देयर मे नेम इज टू कॉज रिन एंड डिस्ट्रक्शन तबाही ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਮੇਨ ਏਮ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਹੈ ਦੈਟ ਇਸ ਟੂ ਕਾਜ਼ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਰੂਨ ਐਂਡ ਡਿਸਟਰਕਸ਼ਨ ਤਬਾਹੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੈ ਦੇ ਹੇਟ ਮੈਨ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਬਿਕਮ ਫੇਮਸ ਬਾਈ ਹਾਰਮਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਹਿਊਮੈਨਿਟੀ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਵਿਲਨਸ ਆਫ ਦ ਵਰਲਡ ਸੋ ਆਫਟਰ ਸਟੀਲਿੰਗ ਦ ਟਿਊਬ ਆਫ ਜਰਮਸ ਦ ਐਨਾਰਕਿਸਟ ਹਾਇਰਸ ਅ ਕੈਬ ਟੂ ਰਸ਼ ਟੂ ਦ ਟੈਂਕ ਆਫ ਵਾਟਰ ਸਪਲਾਈ so when the anarchist in the story when he visits the laboratory of uh, uh, bacteriologist there he steals the tube from his lab after stealing that tube of germs he hires a cab to rush to the tank of water supply rush means to run very fast he uh, hires a cab to rush to the tank of water supply in the city he wants to run away as quickly as possible the bacteriologist madly runs after him without his hat and shoes the the anarchist he wants to run away as quickly as possible the bacteriologist madly runs after him without his hat and shoes he takes another cab and chases the anarchist on seeing the bacteriologist the anarchist gives money to his cabman to drive faster so when the anarchist he runs away from uh, the laboratory to break uh, the germs into the tank of water supply of city and uh, at the same moment the bacteriologist madly run, runs after him he also takes the cab and when the bacteriologist notices notices that uh, uh, bacteriologist is chasing him or following him he gives money to his cabman to drive faster mini comes down takes his hat and shoes and runs after him in another cab mini wife of the bacteriologist she comes down she takes his hat and shoes and runs after bacteriologist in another cab there is a mad race of three cabs and people enjoy the fun but the race of cabs has a deeper meaning and significance there is a mad race of three cabs three cabs first cab in which there is an artist in second cab there is bacteriologist and in third cab there is mini wife of bacteriologist so there is a mad race of three cabs and people enjoy the fun but the race of cabs has a deeper meaning and significance this mad race of three cabs it stands for the conflict between good and evil represented by the bacteriologist and the anarchist so this mad race of three cabs it stands for the conflict between good and evil on good side there is bacteriologist and uh, his wife and on evil side there is uh, anarchist so this race stands for conflict between good and evil this is important point to note this uh, mad race is uh, a mad race between uh, this conflict between good and evil is represented by the bacteriologist and the anarchist h g wells strikes an optimistic note in the story he gives us hope he th- hints that men like the anarchist will ultimately kill themselves the anarchist drinks the few remaining drops in the broken tube it signifies that evil will die its own death thus the story shows the victory of good over evil h g wells in the end of the story 
the writer H. G. Wells he gives an optimistic note in the story. Optimistic means positive. Asha Vadi. He gives us hope. He hints that men like the anarchist, they will ultimately kill themselves. The anarchist, in the end of the story, the anarchist, he drinks the few remaining drops in the broken tube. It signifies that evil will die its own death. So, by giving this note of hope, H. G. Wells ends his story. Thus, the story shows the victory of good over evil. Thus, the story has a very good theme. It shows the victory of good over evil. So, this is a, our discussion on theme and symbolic meaning of uh, H. D. Wells' story, The Stolen Baculus. So, today we have completed this important topic, students. Try to learn this question and this answer. So, tomorrow we will continue with our next lecture on some next uh, topic. Thank you. Thank you very much.